All right, hello everybody. This is a tutorial on how to upgrade your Synology disk station's RAM capacity. Generally, Synology ship with only two to four gigabytes of RAM. For most people, this is only a problem for two circumstances. The first, and most likely, is when you're trying to run multiple virtual machines. Virtual Machine Manager actually allocates the entire amount of RAM you've given a virtual machine to that virtual machine anytime it is powered up. That means if you sometimes need five gigabytes in your Windows virtual machine, every single time that virtual machine is powered on, it is taking up five gigabytes of your RAM. This can add up quickly, especially if you're trying to run multiple virtual machines. The second most common reason is to increase the size of an SSD cache. SSD caching stores the location of the files stored on the SSD actually in RAM at all times. This is to remove the bottleneck from trying to search the entire SSD every time you request a file on your disk station. So instead of looking in the SSD, the Synology only has to look in very fast RAM. But this takes 314 kilobytes of storage for every one gigabyte of SSD cache used. That means a four terabyte SSD cache will use an entire gigabyte of RAM. Finally, indexing uses a lot of RAM. Once again, instead of looking for the location of files on a very slow hard drive, Synology will take your most used files and actually store the location of them in RAM. This way, they do not have to go to the hard drive index to figure out where files are stored. They can simply look in the RAM module and figure out where the files are, speeding up the random read and write processes especially. All these things combined really add up, and so you might want to upgrade your RAM. Luckily, Synology makes this incredibly easy. First of all, they've created a website that tells you which models of RAM are compatible with your disk stations. Simply type in the disk station you own and click on RAM module. There, it will show you a drop-down menu of the compatible RAM modules. These are modules that Synology has tested and verified to work on your exact disk station. However, if you would like to buy cheaper RAM modules, you can just see and figure out the type. The most important part is the DDR number. Most Synologies either take DDR4 or DDR3 RAM modules. This basically says what form factor the RAM is in. You will be completely unable to put DDR3 RAM in a NAS that only accepts DDR4 memory. So make sure this is correct. All right, sorry, pardon the interruption. I realized halfway through editing that video that I did not make it clear enough that you also have to make sure the right size. There are two different types of RAM that Synology generally takes. For the cheaper models, this is even going up into the Plus series like the DS1819 Plus, they take the small size, the SO size. Then for the rack mounts generally, they take the long side. So you need to also make sure that that is compatible as well. All right, back to the video. Another thing you should look at is the frequency of the RAM that's currently installed on your NAS. If you buy a RAM module that is slower than your RAM that's installed, it will actually slow down both DIMM slots because Synology takes the speed of the slowest DIMM for compatibility. This is not too large of an issue due to the fact that RAM is still incredibly fast compared to a hard drive, but it is th something to think about. Synology has made installing RAM modules incredibly easy. First, make sure to boot down any virtual machines and then boot down your entire NAS. Unplug everything and take it out. Most Synology disk stations have a panel on the bottom covering the RAM. Simply flip your NAS over and remove this panel and you should have access to the either one or two RAM modules. If there is already a free slot, you can simply slot in the RAM you've purchased making sure to push it down and that the two metal pins have locked in place. You will hear a click and that's how you know they've locked in. After you've installed the RAM module, replace the cover and you should be ready to go. Boot up your NAS to make sure it worked. After upgrading your RAM, the boot up may take slightly longer than usual. This is normal. Once your NAS is booted, log into DSM. We can check and see the new RAM by going to control panel Info, and then here we will see total physical memory. As you can see here, I've gone from four gigabytes to 16 gigabytes, meaning the upgrade was successful. 
After this, you should have no problems running additional virtual machines or whatever you'd like to do. And for that, that's all you really need to know. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye.